So Wi-Fi dashboard for Flipper Zero uh, actually have ESP32 S2 module that allows you to do things like debugging Flipper Zero for USB, uh, debugging Flipper Zero for Wi-Fi, connecting Flipper Zero to internet, and also it allows you to do cool functionality such as Wi-Fi penetration, uh, testing, Wi-Fi network analysis, scanning networks. But unfortunately, out of the box, the, those capabilities are not available. So throughout today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to unlock them. So first of all, let's have a look into the design of Clipper Zero Wi-Fi board. So you will notice tactile switches. Uh, left side is actually reset button, then the right side is the boot button, and then in the right corner you have also the uh, LED status and the USB-C port through which you can make data transfers and also supply the power. And also you have the GPIO ports on the bottom, which are obviously used to connect them together with Repair Zero device. So by default, uh, you can do actually much, you can do much with this module itself, but let's verify first that the module is working fine before we do any modification to unlock more Wi-Fi capabilities for our penetration testing. So by default, this Wi-Fi network module is acting as an access control point. Uh, that means that if you turn on the Flipper Zero box itself and you navigate to your PC and search for available Wi-Fi networks, you will notice the SSID name Black Magic, to which you can actually connect with default uh, password, which is I am Witcher. Uh, upon connecting to this Wi-Fi uh, wi network, which is actually posted on this Wi-Fi dashboard module, uh, you uh, you can see what IP address you can obtain. It will be something from 192.168.4.4. Zero network, probably the last talk test will be 4.2 and the Wi-Fi dev board will have IP address 4.1 and the last two of this, obviously. So after we are connected to this Wi-Fi network, let's open web browser and type 192.168.4.1 IP address and hit enter. You will see the cool retro uh, website like style looking page will be displayed, which is actually the uh, web server that is running on the module. And yeah, here we have a couple of settings like Wi-Fi wi settings, like, okay, you will see that default mode is access control point. What is our SSID pass password? Under the sys, uh, like page, you will find the version IP address of the module. Under the PS section, you will find all running processes, including things such as HTTPD, which is a web server daemon that is running on the module. Going back to the Wi-Fi settings, you can change the default access control point mode to STA, which is station mode. So basically with station mode, you can um, act as a client instead of access control point, and you will be able to search for available networks to which you can connect by using the known password. Obviously, those network should be the one that you uh, have the control over and basically we want to change the default operating mode uh, after you select uh, Wi-Fi network, provide password, save the settings, reboot and you can reboot the Reaper uh, Zero will be able to connect to internet through specified Wi-Fi network but it's useful actually for more advanced users for debugging the Flipper Zero, but this actually is great test to confirm that the Flipper Zero Wi-Fi dashboard module is actually up and running. And in case you don't see this Wi-Fi, uh, in case you haven't seen the like Black Magic Wi-Fi network, so uh, what you can do, you can actually press the boot button for around uh, 10 seconds, and. Uh, the device will reboot and will actually boot to the default mode because it might be that the dev, mode, the dev 
board module came in SDA mode. So you can reset it back to the access control point mode. But now with that, uh, let's move to the most exciting part, which is the flashing the firmware on the Wi-Fi dev board module. So in order to unlock the penetration capability, Wi-Fi penetration capabilities, we need to download the custom Marauder firmware for our Wi-Fi dev board module, uh, which we can do from GitHub repository called Uber Kido Z. Uh, in this uh, GitHub repository, we'll navigate to FZ Marauder Flasher folder, where we will find the easiest instructions on how to actually flash Marauder firmware. Uh, you can read carefully through the instruction, but I'm going to showcase you everything step by step. Basically, we will download the necessary files that includes the binary uh, pre-compiled uh, files of Marauder firmware, and uh, we will extract the archive folder to our PC and navigate to the folder. Before we run anything, um, we need to prepare our Wi-Fi dev module and we are going to press for like boot menu or boot button, boot button sorry. And, and while holding the boot menu, we are going to plug USB C. And you will notice on the PC that the PC detected the, the connectivity to Wi-Fi dev module through this uh, USB connection. Uh, so now we are ready to run the flash.bat file and you will see here that indeed our Wi-Fi dev module has been recognized and is connected through COM port 5 in my case, but the number here can be different on your side. Now what we will do, we will select the first option, which is actually flashing firmware, parallel firmware to Wi-Fi dashboard module. And this will take a couple of couple of seconds. Let it let it run. And uh, upon the completion, just press any key uh, keystroke uh, to exit uh, from this command line prompt. And that's it. Now we have actually flashed an hour on the Wi-Fi dashboard module, the custom Marauder uh, paper. However, this still doesn't allow us to use the Wi-Fi dashboard module to its potential. So the next step we'll explore in the next video that is linked up here.